Hey, sisters flow, sister go, sister flow, sister. Welcome to Soul Sisters. <laughs> Drum roll. We don't need an intro. We have each other. I'm so excited to be doing this show with you. I know, you're glowing. I made you glow. Uh uh-uh, uh, I think that's just the highlighter. Oh, Luban oil that I yeah, saw my face. here was feeling special. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. <laughs> So, Vanessa, we finally made it. We've we been did. talking about this for... Years. Was it before Corona? Years, yes. Initially thought it was going to be a podcast. Mm-hmm. Just the two of us, and it wasn't. Yes, it wasn't. But this turned out to be so much better. Yeah, which just means everything in God's time, doesn't it? It's it a does. classic, classic. Patience. Yeah. Well, we were forced to wait due to Corona, but... Yeah, true. You know. But I mean, if it was meant to be it would have flowed because we would have initially done the podcast and you would have recorded from your house. I would have done it from my house. People do it, right? Yes. But for some reason, it just wasn't meant to be. No, we were meant to be here. Yeah. On Oman FM. Yeah. The best station. (laughs) Why did you do that? I was on a roll. So, my name is Vanessa, and I'm a huge foodie and um, mother of three. I feel like this is such a generic kind of thing. Okay, huge foodie, mother of three, married for a very long time, and have a best friend who is very different from me, but very similar. My name is Maya Al Saeed, I'm Romani, I'm also a mother of three. Surprise, <laughs> Vanessa, that no. my mother of three. How did we get here? We, we yeah. got here by car. No, I <laughs> How did we get to mother? We were mothers of two. Yes, it right? happens. Our kids were grown. Yes. And then all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. My mother was, sorry, carry can on. I, can I carry yes, on with finish, my intro? Thank finish, you. Because you had your time Go to speak. Go Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm a life coach. Well, actually, I trans. can I say that again? I'm a transfer name. <clears throat> I'm a transfer na- <laughs> In the beginning, beginning. So I'm a coach, um, a public speaker, a content creator, and also a radio host. And now I'm hosting a show with you. So I, all I remember is receiving an email from Vanessa Mary. Yeah, and it's like, hi, I found your account on Instagram. Yeah? No. Uh, no, it was my website. Mm. Um, those days and uh, you were still where were you in kenya in kenya yeah so you're in kenya and your husband yeah. was uh, was got a job and i was planning to we move we're to gearing up to move here yeah so the decision had already been made so you just wanted to know what you're getting yourself into how you can you know how life is in Oman as a young mother because i believe you just had kk then uh, yeah and you're ee, kiki. so <laughs> now seeing kk and remembering no. how he was um so yeah and i remember i responded to the email with a say, lot of information really alhamdulillah yeah. i'm glad i was that kind of person yeah you were oh that i am not that i i'm still that person because i still <laughs> like to help people <laughs> just putting it out there um and then when you came the funny thing is i think it took us about a year mm. before we actually yeah. met face to face yeah but i did we text were com- you i think yes. i did text you a when couple you- of months after i would moved Mm. And I was just trying to settle in, had my daughter, had my son was a baby, a huge house, trying to clean the house, trying to just settle in in general. But also, you know, come to think of it, you were actually reaching out to a stranger. Yeah, I was. So it's not... Stranger danger! (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It's not going to be one of those, oh, I'm coming to a man, let's meet. Yeah, no. So, you know, you needed to take your time. But then we are considered like neighbors now because you're, yes, you're not... Up next to me or across the street yeah. but you are in the in the country and yeah. we didn't live too far no. away from each other and but then, then we ended up meeting because your book was out yes and you wanted to give me a copy of the book yes and, and then we, we met, met at a cafe over food and i remember we took so long to order because we just couldn't shut up mm. we just kept talking and talking and the you know the, the waiting staff kept kept coming and they're like are you ready to order Sorry, we promise we will order just now. Remember, it took so long to just order one thing. And then, did I not tell you food is love? 
Yes, you did, Hi. Tim. Yeah. I and I remember we took a, a selfie, which I still have. We did, yeah. I'll share it with, uh, you know, the producers. Nice. Maybe they can put it in just so people can see how young we were then. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I am. Hey, throwing shade. You throw shade for yourself. I'm still young. <laughs> Ever since we met, we clicked, we kind of bonded, and it's been history. And it's so rare to get that. Yeah. I acknowledge. Come to think of it, I don't really remember <coughs> us ever have a falling out. Like, how long have we been friends? We've had falling out. Like, you know, over Milo, for example, that's a huge falling out we had. So now, let's talk about this Milo <coughs> thing since you said it. Because mm. I say... I'm glad that you said Milo. Yeah, because that's what you've you come said. to the right side. No, 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 no. Okay, so do you want to explain it or should I? So, because we're I from she different will. cultures and different backgrounds, some words may be said differently. Mm-hmm. One main word is the word Milo, which is a drink for those of you who don't know. A, a chocolate drink similar chocolate. to Nesquik for those no, on this side of the to world. Oval tea. Okay, it's the same. It's, it's all cho- Nesquik is not malty. M- Do you have tea. to be very specific? To me, it's a chocolate drink. It's a brown drink you mix yeah. with either milk or water. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. not get into that. It's, we're focusing on the it name. It has malt. Yes, madame. Foodie. Okay. So, anyway, I call it Milo. Everybody in East Africa calls it Milo. Madame here calls it Milo. Because it's spelled M-I-L-O. Milo is a name. If In order for me to say Milo, mm. it'll have to be spelled out as M-E-E-L-O. Mm. Okay, this is just for people who... Anyway, so yours truly, me, I decided to take it upon myself and the rest of the world and sent an e- a, a message, an email, no, a message out via Instagram to Nestle, it... Germany. And okay. guess what they said? Milo, because it's a German word. Okay, thank you for enlightening us. You're welcome. Shall we talk about categories? Okay, that one. Okay, I say categories. <laughs> that is... The heavy East African accent coming through. Did you send an email to the Oxford Dictionary <laughs> to see how it's pronounced? Did they I tell accepted, you it's categories? I accept a defeat. It is categories. Mandazi, Mahamri, nationwide war. We, I just know it as Mandazi. Now, just to be specific, you did say you were a foodie, but you didn't say what kind of foodie you are. Do you mm. want to elaborate on that? Let me or pull you be- guys back a bit. So I grew up in Kenya in the beautiful coastal city of Mombasa. And the food I love to cook and the food I honestly really, the only food I cook well enough is Swahili food, which is found along the East African coast. And there's very similar recipes um, in Indian cuisine uh, cuisine and Omani cuisine, <coughs> yeah. or Arab cuisine as well, surprisingly. And so that is uh, where I evolved from, evolved from, came so, from. So, I'm going Swahili. Kabisa. Vipi? Ha, freshy. <laughs> Mambo shware. <laughs> Mambo nini? Shware. That's the like, you know, when you're in Mombasa, when you walk, you're like, Mambo vipi yo. Mambo shware. Which means everything's like, good. Smooth, good. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I've learned a new word. See? Say it. Okay. No, do Mambo that. shware. Ah, pass. That's it. I, I, I can go there. Done. Ah. Test it. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know what I'd do done. without you. I know. <laughs> Do you have a lot of Muslim films? I know now that you live in Oman, you do. I feel some people might be watching and listening, think how these, how come these two are such good friends? Mm. So, how? Yeah. So to answer the first question, yes, I have very many Muslim friends. Because you live in Oman, not just from. You think you would have that many friends even if you lived abroad, say in Kenya or say Switzerland? So I think it all comes down to how one is raised. Mm-hmm. And I was raised in a intercultural marriage. My, my mom is, uh, you know, she married somebody from a completely different culture. Mm-hmm. And I think just that in itself sets sets the foundation the right way. I okay. think the right way. So, and because I grew up in Mombasa, Kenya, Islam is, uh, is practiced there. You know, so uh, in school, my friends, most of them were Muslim. So you grew up around Muslims then? I grew up around Muslims. Um, and I used to use like, uh, during, like when there was the prayer times, 
we used to go to school. There was a, there was a point where we went to school from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh wow! Yeah. And when my Muslim friends went to pray, that was my chance to leave the classroom. I was like, I'm going to pray too. <laughs> oh, so sweet. <laughs> so you'd so, go and pray? Yeah, we'd go and join. And they were okay with that? Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing, but I joined them and it was, it was okay. Just do, doing the movement? Yes. And you enjoyed that? I like, did, I subhanallah, did. Subhanallah, there are probably some children who are trying to get out of it. <laughs> and I try to get so into cool. it. That was my get out of the classroom card, you know. But it, it was a good time. Um, I still remember... The students, so my, my classmates that I went with, you know, we're still friends to, uh, until today. To today. Yeah. That's nice. Mm-hmm. See, you're a nice person. Aww. You are a true and true Christian. Like, it's you're not practicing, one of those. Yeah. Yes, you're a practicing Christian. Mm-hmm. You're not one of them, those that just has the title and, you know. Does nothing with it. And I am a Muslim, also a practicing Muslim, hence the way I look. Yeah. And... Honestly, I've I've always been comfortable discussing my faith with you. Um, I think one of the things that makes our friendship work is the mutual respect we have for each other's, not only as people, but also in terms of our faith. Mm. When you're practicing your faith, I don't I don't disrespect you or the practice or what you believe in, even though it's very different from what I believe in. Mm. And there's so many times that uh, when I also was at your house. I prayed. I have a mat there for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think that's so beautiful that I don't know of any other friends who aren't Muslims who have a prayer mat just for their Muslim friends when they come over to pray. Yeah. I guess, I, again, I think that is just, it all comes or boils down to how you were raised. My mother raised me really well. Mm. You know, she raised me so to did be mine, accepting. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say she did. Your mom well, is the awesome. way you are going, I like love my your mother, mother. <laughs> raised me well. Yeah, well, okay, so did mine. <laughs> but um, she raised me to accept people from all walks of life. Mm. That is one thing she drilled into all of us. It doesn't matter whether you're cleaning the floors in a building mm-hmm, or you're mm-hmm. the CEO yes. or you're Muslim or you're Indian. It doesn't matter. What matters is you need to start on the basis of love. Okay, we've talked about our difference. So now it's just beautiful. You know, it's leading us into our similarities. We're humans. Mm -hmm. Irrelevant of our skin color, of our faith, of anything else that people now uh, put us in boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we were, we are both children of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. That's like we all came from them. And we have the same problems. We have the same same struggles. Yeah. Um, and we're mothers on top. I mean, just also being mothers, we, how many times we call each other and we're like, especially now, mm. are you dying yet of sleep deprivation? Because I am, you know, yeah. we have those conversations and we really help each other through this rocky road we're going mm. through right now. But also we have teens, right? Yes. Which is, an, oh my, which is a whole nother conversation. But we also help each other through that. Mm. So, you know, it's good to see that I'm not the only one struggling with a teenager. Not that... My, my teenager is that much of a struggle but there's certain sometimes there's ways that don't make sense and then you come and tell me the same thing is happening and then I feel validated I feel like okay I'm, I'm not messing up not only in terms of parenting we also <laughs> support each other as women we're both entrepreneurs yeah. and um, we're both on social media mm-hmm. and one of the reasons which we forgot to mention at the beginning was um This whole Soul Sisters came about because when we started being on each other's social media, people really loved us together. Yes, we made them laugh. Yes, apparently we're very funny. So you guys can let us know if we we are or not. I'm hoping that we are entertaining you and also just, um, you know, we're just being ourselves. Because a lot of the times on Instagram, we haven't rehearsed anything. We haven't planned anything. We're just us being us. Mm -hmm. And... It makes people so happy to see. And people also mention they love seeing the interfaith friendship we have. Yep. And we never gave it thought. No. You know, we never we never gave a minute's thought that we were funny. But when people write in, and, and the amount of people who've written in, you know, all saying the same thing, that's when we really had to sit back and go, wait a second. We do have something really special. And, and it's nice that... Although we know, it's nice that other people saw that as well and and told us about it. Yeah. 
Now comes the other question. So this sounds so nice and you seem to have the perfect friendship. Are all our opinions the exact same? No. No. And that's okay. <laughs> and that's okay. That's the thing. But would people really fight or make a big deal because we don't think alike? Like, not as we, like, whoever friendship they are, like, oh, you don't think like me, then I don't think this is going to work. You know, if you look yeah. at it from another point of view, any relationship that you have, you're always going to have an opinion that another person won't agree with. Of course, with. yeah. And like, it's how you take it, though. I feel like the only time an interfaith or intercultural relationship or friendship would have problems is when you have people from the outside come in and try to stir the pot and add some chili and things that shouldn't be in there. Mm. You know, like, ah, oh, Maya, you shouldn't be hanging out with Vanessa because, um, I don't know, maybe the music she listens to might corrupt you. <laughs> or <laughs> I go, say, well, it ain't none of your business. Definitely not that way. But, you know, and, and the conversations you have may corrupt you mm. um, and vice versa. You know, oh, Maya might... But uh, I'm a um, mature woman. I'm not at that stage That's the for... thing. We're mature enough to make our own decisions, aren't we? And... As much as mistakes and failures are there in life, they're also there's a positive side to it that you always learn from your mistakes. Yeah. yeah. That's why they're there. They're there to teach you that there's a better way to do things. Were you looking at my phone? Did it just vibrate? Y yes, it did. Do you have why? a problem with that? Always. Did it fall? Did it make a noise? And if it wasn't for you, did it went zzzzt. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I have to deal with these things. It did not. I. I'm not going to waste time. Do you see my phone anywhere, people? Yes, it's on your lap. Okay, but do... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> see? I mean, what can I It's say? on airplane mode, no? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Anyway, while we um, recuperate, we'll just take a short break and see you in a bit. Soul Sisters is set out to inspire other people to become friends. To, not only, I mean, we discuss, we plan on tackling very many different subjects mm. that we are passionate about. So when we're putting together a list of things we want to talk about, we coincidentally we wrote two separate lists. Remember mm. we wrote, and then when we went back to the first list we'd written two years ago, all the points were still there. So yeah. they were the same list. Um, which shows how passionate we are about it. But it's just to show people that, you know, it, it points of view from two girls mm -hmm. from a different back, two women, sorry, from a different background, um, uh, you know, our opinions on certain things. And I think one of the things that listeners and viewers will, will find out is that we will talk about topics that are considered not taboo, but that are not often spoken about. And I think it's, I'm, I'm grateful for this platform that we're given uh, to be able to address such issues. And I don't wanna say too much because I really want you to give us a chance and really find out what we are about and the topics that we talk about deserve to be heard. I agree, well said, Merci. my darling friend. Thank you very much. You're Shukran, very welcome. Happy very welcome. Asante sana, Dad. Okay, mushkila. do we know any other languages? <laughs> yeah, I'm learning. Uh, what are you learning? Kelm Arabi. Ah, it's Kelm Arabi, mashallah. Unfortunately, this is English. Yeah, but it's this fine. This is an English can, show. Know, let people learn some new words here and there. You should be teaching Swahili, if anything. Hey. Yeah, well. Well, maybe. Maybe one episode, who knows? Anyway, this was so much fun. I'm really it's looking nice. forward to the rest of the the episodes and our time here on Oman FM. I can't wait because every time we get together, it's just always laughter. I feel so much lighter. Doesn't matter what kind of a week I've had. And that is the true essence of a good friendship. Take it away, Vanessa, as you brought us in when we were, you know, the intro, please sing us out. Hi. Just do it. No, it's so hot. This is not an ad. <laughs> this is so just difficult. do it, Vanessa. I, I cannot. Bye, sister. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely day. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.